but we do want to make it a little lighter. So we're, now what we want to do is come in here and sand this underside. Of sandpaper, um, you want to keep it moving so it doesn't leave a scratch in the same place all the time, and it takes forever to get it out. So we keep it moving. Okay, shut it down, we'll take a look. Okay, that looks nice and clean. Inside here is just dust. Let's see, that'll fit on there nicely. And you can see underneath because it overhangs a little bit, it'll help hide that joint. Now we make the roof. We got the eaves of our little birdhouse. Now we want to make a fun little roof and I like to make big sweeping curves I think curves look better and they're easier to make if you can make things straight they have to be dead straight Try to follow that inside line a little bit. Last few cuts. We want to make really consistent and we want to take as little as we can so that we can remove any tear out that's there and not add any more. When I waste away a lot of stuff, I end up leaving a lot of marks and tear out. Okay, so what I do is I usually try to turn get the harmonics to some flex and it's going to leave a little ridge there. But I try to make this very top around a quarter of an inch. Dang it. So I'm getting ridging and, and I'm getting chatter here because of that, the harmonics. So I think we're done with that guy. We'll move on to a little 80 grit gouge here. Nothing wrong with the sandpaper, it's just another tool. And again, we want to keep it moving. Uh, this is a little fast. Um, so when I'm doing these in production, I, I don't know, it's small enough diameter and I don't have to do usually too much sanding. Most of the time I can get away with starting out with a fairly fine grit and just polishing it up. But this guy wanted to wobble and do some harmonics so we had to clean up a little more than I usually do. But that's all part of the game. Each one's different. They have their own personality on and off the lathes. I don't work from a pattern. I just work what I see in my mind. Um, I don't try to make any two of these exactly the same. If someone suggests an idea, something they'd like to see, I'll try to do it for them, but for the most part, I just kind of let how it goes go. 
So yeah, see that, look, that cleaned up really nice. Um, what I'm going to want to do is a little pilot hole here for a hanging knob. I'm going to do it in a bit. I have this little point tool here that I made out of, you know, out of the same stock that I made the round skew out of. And it's really good for making these pilot holes dead center. I want this dead center and no, we don't want a little ridge in top. But what this does is this guides my little tap drill down the center. And I have, you know, a 132nd and an eighth inch. They're just on scrap laying around for a little handle. You just hand hold them. A little pilot hole should make this go down pretty much down the center. Right, so we're down the center of that guy. I'll just part this off with this little point tool. Flatten this up a little bit. <laughs> Should put some finish on there. I'll just wipe the finish on now. Usually I finish, but since I'm doing the video, I'm concentrating more on the video than what I'm doing. So I'll put a little bit on the paper towel. Just wipe that on. Get the other side. Well, because we So that's how I let that dry. Should be dry in just a few minutes here, but okay now I want to change out the chuck here. I've gone to this wrench instead of the, the pins because it's easier for me to lock the lathe and that on there. Yeah, my need the adapter. Okay, I've got a little oh, probably one by one it looks like this was um, probably some poplar in fact I'm sure it's poplar it's a little dry and kind of pithy so and stringy so it split when I rounded it out before but we'll go ahead and use this for you know, grab the bigger the bigger skew So. Yeah, that, that um, high-pitched whine is harmonics because it's chattering, and that will leave a mark on the on the wood.
Okay. Take the little skew. Let's make a little ball on top here. How about just starting and curling over. We'll make a little dimple here. So I need a little pilot hole for the drill bit that's going to... I'm going to try to make this little ball. Um, if you want, you can make it perfect, um, but a lot of times I'll get this part close and help the shape out with the sandpaper. There's the little pilot hole there. Yeah, what I want to do is check this.